question. I put a lot of effort into my drums. I try to find good elements, but my drums still feel flat and generic. How do I break away from that? The two things that I feel like used to always make my drums feel flat and generic were one, lack of swing, and that's the biggest thing, and two, sound choice. A lot of the time I would have good sound choice. And like, this is the conundrum of people who make other things that aren't hip hop or rap and then come into it, myself included. I took years away from making beats or anything like that. When I came back to it, all my drums felt so corny and I knew I had the right 808s and snares and perks and everything. So I was buying all the right kits, but wasn't swinging my drums the right way. I wasn't mixing my drums the right way. Here's a couple of the simplest things that I've noticed are missing when people have good sound selection but the drums just feel off swing everything can't be perfectly quantized that's part of what's making you feel like they're flat I could be wrong maybe you're making techno maybe you're making house music but even with house music you want that hat a little you want to have a little swing to everything you're doing sometimes it's a good technique to try to just leave your kick quantized move your snare a little ahead move your hat a little behind move your Snare a little behind, move your hat a little ahead. See what kind of bounce you can come up with. The whole Dilla bounce, the whole MPC bounce is kind of based on going from straight one, two, three, four to one, two, three. And kind of going more towards a triplet and you slowly get them. You can slowly start to get this little bounce. But start swinging your drums. Whether you do it in Ableton with the little thing over on the side with the milliseconds. Or you actually just do what I do. Take things, move them off the grid. That's a huge part of it. A lot of times when I hear people's drums, their hi-hats and their perks and their snares are all really loud. And then the kicks in the 808s are the same level. Your kicks in your 808s need to hit. In this beat, the reason why this beat has such a cool feel to it is like everything that I was putting in this beat, I kept putting everything in this group. Did you notice that? How everything besides this kick and like one thing of effects is in this group. Inside of this group, I had um, a big side chain on it to my kick right down here so that everything kind of swelled to the kick which gave it that vibe maybe you want to take your hats or your perk or some of your things and put a light side chain on them from your kick so that every time your kick hits your kick and your 808 are super present but none of that perk and shit gets in the way even if they're swinging a little weird but regardless try to move your drums around try to get them off the grid a little bit try to make them a little early a little late whatever that might be a big part of why they feel stale. And once you start doing that, look at your keys, look at your samples, look at the things that you're making in your beat that aren't drums and look where that first kick hits, look where that snare hits and look where things in the sample and in your keys and certain notes and MIDI things hit. Just try to start lining shit up the same way you're doing with your drums. Have certain things be behind, certain things be ahead. A lot of the time, a good rule is when you that 808 hits and that kick hits, you probably want the main sound in the beat to be a little bit behind that in a lot of cases so that when it hits it feels like the main sound in the beat whether it's a sample or a synth or a midi thing or whatever that and the kick and the 808 all are hitting at the same time instead of maybe the sample or the main element being a little ahead and the kick being a little behind every time they hit it's going to feel a little clashed a little weird make sure your main elements are a little behind your kicks make sure you're swinging your drums i'm sure sample choice isn't the problem for you guys you got to be able to keep loading yourself up with different sounds or else even the really good sounds are going to feel stale. You know, after 20 beats with a spins 808, you probably want to use something else. Load yourself up.